to Carroll County, a volleyball coach fired, arrested and now being held without bond tonight. This after police say Evan Frock posed as a teenage boy on Snapchat to get sexual pictures from students and now he's facing child pornography charges. WMAR 2 News' Kendall Green joins us live in Westminster. Kendall, prosecutors say it's just the beginning. He could have more victims. Yeah, good evening, Kelly and Mallory. He made more than 1,000 connections with children to receive those sexual images, and now he's facing 18 child pornography charges. And then authorities say that now even more charges could be on the way. Westminster's high school volleyball coach, Evan Frock, at the center of a child pornography investigation. Judge Aaron Dans ruled the ex-coach and former PE teacher and athletics director at Liberty Christian School in Baltimore County will be held without bond. This after using four separate Snapchat accounts to both retrieve and distribute at least 20 sexually graphic images of minors ranging from six years old to 16. Reports say he admitted to deceiving his victims, pretending to be a teenager. Some of those teens students at Westminster where he worked. Everyone that gets caught and prosecuted, it is a win as far as I'm concerned. I, I just wish that that would become the norm as opposed to people getting away from, with it for years and years and years. While well, prosecutors don't know how far Frock's sexual communications with these minors go back, they say Frock has been preying on these children dating back to at least last October. They call the 32-year-old husband's Snapchat operations multi-layered. The thing that concerns me the most is once they've been caught, not giving them access to allowing it to happen again. A parent we spoke with says this sexual predatory behavior is harmful, unacceptable and life changing for students, saying individuals like this coach need to be dealt with and prosecuted with vigor. But he notes more adults need to be on the front lines fighting for kids safety. It's really important that the kids have some adult to go to. Doesn't matter whether it's the parent, an aunt, an uncle, a grandparent, uh, even a, a teacher or someone outside the home, they have to have an adult that they can confide in. Um, otherwise, they can be victims in a variety of ways. Now, the FBI is still investigating this case. They ask any parents who feel that their kids may have been victims of this guy to contact their tip line. That number is 410-265-8080, or you can contact Carroll County Sheriff's Office. We're now reporting on Carroll County, Kendall Green, WMAR 2 News.